Hey guys, what's up? So, I guess I'm back. We need to record some more Skyrim. So, uh, pretty much all I've done is just run to the College of Winterhold, that's all. And, uh, I'm ready to talk to the Archmage now, and start on the next portion of the quest. It's no secret that the College is... Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanian. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Mm -hmm. I really hate his voice. It's just extremely annoying. But anyway. You know, they say knowledge is its own reward. He gives us a staff that's pretty much useless, uh, because all it does is makes light. So if you want little light orbs around you while you explore dungeons, Sure, go ahead and use it, otherwise I don't find it very useful at all. Uh, if you just turn your brightness up, the game is plenty bright enough to see what you're doing, even in the darkest of places. So, anyway, we gotta talk to this orc guy. You are now in the Arcanium. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronach. Now, do you require assistance? I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Belglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. If you're feeling... And he also... I'm some other time, perhaps. What? I wanted to assist you. I'm ready for some adventure. But pretty much, you can always just... If you want a quest, you can just go to him and he'll ask you to like find a book. Normally, they're at the end of dungeons, so if you just want to explore some dungeons and get a kind of decent reward at the end of it, uh, he's a good guy to talk to you for that. And anyway, this guy's going to interrupt us. You were in Sarko, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. I am well aware. Tolkdir is still in Sarko, is he? I shall be expecting a full report from him when he returns. Something was discovered in Sarko that was significant enough that Tolkdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver work. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to anyone, especially me. Thank you for your help. You may go. Well, someone's being a little bit nosy. Um, yeah, I just talked to you. He always does that. Um, at least for me, every single time you talk to him and then you walk away, he'll talk to you again for some reason. Anyway, he's kind of annoying. But we we need to go out into the Hall of Elements, which leads outside, and then we need to go to uh, Felglow Keep. And there's going to be a lot of necromancers and stuff there to fight which is good well which is good and bad uh... unfortunately i haven't discovered fellow glow keep yet so it's going to be quite a run um, i guess it won't be too bad it is fairly close to white run uh, yeah i've re i hardly discovered any locations since you know i pretty much started recording as soon as i started this character so most of the map is still undiscovered. The only cities I've discovered are Whiterun, Dawnstar, and uh, Winterhold. So there's still a lot left to a lot left to see. It is really annoying when you don't have anything, uh, hardly any locations discovered, because you have to run around and discover them all yourself. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll be back once I'm at Felglow Keep because it's going to be a while before I get there. Okay, so we're now approaching Felglow Keep. Felglow Keep discovered right there. I kind of took a roundabout way because uh, what I did is I went up to Shear Point. Uh, there is a word wall there. I did not get the word wall though. And the reason is because 
Uh, when you get a word wall, a very tough enemy spawns. An enemy that I would not be able to kill at level 4. So, and would kill me very easily. So, anyway, that's why I didn't get the word wall there. I'll go back there later. Sometime, hopefully, chest. Wow. I never even knew this was here. Probably nothing good in it, though. Oh, a couple potions. Uh, I did change the robes I was wearing, too. I put on... I put on the robes some necromancer was wearing because they gave more Magicka regen. Anyway. Black mage robes. It, they look just like this. They just do 75% uh, Magicka regeneration instead of 50%. So, anyway. Uh, Flame Atronox, I believe. Yeah, they're, they're invul invulnerable to fire. So, I'll have to use sparks against them. Oh, he's down there. I was like, did he just disappear? I don't think they're very weak to sparks. The best way to kill these things is uh, probably with ice, I imagine. Uh, they also explode when they die, so... A little bit laggy on my screen just because all the explosions. Uh, I need to heal up. I'm very close to dying here. And pull out. I guess we'll, we'll try the longbow this time to take out this final guy. Well, you're kind of hiding behind the tower, dude. I can't really shoot you very well. Yeah, that does hardly any damage at all. I need my Magicka to heal right now, though. Heal up. And luckily I don't have very much health, so it's quite fast to heal up. And we'll go after him. Oh, he's an apprentice, not a novice, that's why. Oh, really? I come up here and he just falls yeah. down? That's not very cool. Wow. He's really hurting me. He, like, doesn't miss either. I think I might just have to run into Felgo Cleave, otherwise this guy's gonna take me out. Just run in there. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm too newbie to kill him right now. Screw you, man. I'm leaving. Felgo Keep Dungeons. This is quite a long uh, area here, so it might take a while to get through it. Um, hopefully we don't find too many more of those apprentice guys because they're quite strong. Loading screen's taking a while. Come on now, you can do it. Okay, I was gonna help. I was gonna say, please don't crash on me again, because I have had, so far, only one loading screen crash, which is nice. I was expecting a bit more than that. But yeah, just one so far. Um, again... As long as there's no real high-leveled monsters in here, we shouldn't have a problem. I still don't have a follower. I know that's a huge mistake. I also know I just picked up a basket, and I didn't mean to do that. Oh, Apprentice Ice Mage. Uh oh. Luckily, I know Frostbite Spider's weak to fire. Um, I'm guessing Ice Mage would also be at least somewhat weak to fire. Maybe not so much. These guys are pretty hard. I did not expect this. Took all my Magicka to kill him. And also leveled up. Staff of Zombies. Paralyzed Potion Recipe. I'll take it. And we'll level up. Get more Magicka. More Magicka is always nice. And we can also go into Destruction. And, uh... Let's see. I want to go to Apprentice Destruction. There we go. Cast Apprentice Level Destruction spells for half Magicka, so... Now, uh, I should be able to use Firebolt for half Magicka, so let's just try that out. Um, the hard thing about Firebolt is you just have to aim it, so... I'll see how it goes. If I really don't like Firebolt, I won't use it, but... And, uh... Let's check something really quickly. Okay, Destruction Dual Casting. I was just making sure that um, you didn't have to upgrade that again for Apprentice Level spells. But I guess not. Uh, there's obviously a trap right there, which I will avoid. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in this dungeon, so I don't 100% remember it. 
Uh, I do know there are vampires later in this dungeon, and they, I believe, will fight for you if you do something right. If you, like, free, yeah, because the, um, the necromancers in this dungeon are, like, killing vampires, so if you free the vampires, they will help you. Lockpicking increased to 17, that's helpful, always. And, uh, we go down here. Oh, shock trap. Okay. Really sucks having so little health. And also the fact that I have no armor, but just having... No, I'm gonna try out Firebolt. Here we go. Really? I'm out of Majika already? Well, I think I found out that Firebolt is not gonna work. Die. I think I hit the vampire by accident. I did not mean to do that. Oh well, it's not a big deal. I didn't mean to hit you, I'm sorry. But yeah, you can free these guys if you want. They will help you out. I'm gonna free these ones. Just cause, uh, they won't attack you. I think the one that I hit by accident with my magic might attack me, but the other two won't. Out of the way, meat. Out of the way, meat. <laughs> That's not very nice. And yeah, I realize there are levers on the wall as well to open up these cages, but, uh, you don't get lockpicking XP if you use the levers, so... I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Are you gonna attack me now? Oops. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Anyway. Let's just lockpick these two doors really quick, because... Lockpicking's a really hard skill to train, it just is. It takes absolutely forever, so the more the more locks you pick, the better. Won't take long. Unlock this one. I really don't want to get perfect hemophilia, so I, I hope I don't get attacked or anything by these vampires. Come on, it's just an apprentice lock. Okay, so I got two lockpicking levels. Uh, that's going to help a bit. Novice conjurer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Healing potion. And he is using a shock spell. Um, shock spells do drain your Majika as well, so. Holy crap. This is not working out so well. I am almost dead. So I'm gonna run. <laughs> And I have no Majika left, so we'll try the longbow. My archery is really low, so I'm barely going to do any damage. And I'm dead. <sighs> I'm probably way too level to be doing low level to be doing this quest in the first place, but whatever. Okay, I'm back to the part where I left off. How I killed them is I just released the vampires, and while the vampires were attacking them, I, the uh, enemies, I shot them with arrows, and that worked pretty well. So uh, I might have to invest a bit in the archery as well, uh, just because I don't think destruction alone is going to cut it, uh, at least for the lower levels, until I get some good enchanted gear and stuff, because obviously later on when you train your enchanting, you can get, like, um, pretty good armor, and then you can enchant it with, you know, destruction spells, cost less to cast, uh, that sort of thing, and that can really help you out. Uh, but for the moment, I'm gonna really struggle killing uh, harder monsters, or if there's several enemies in a room, I'm gonna really struggle killing them with only destruction. So that's just something to keep in mind. There's wolves howling. It's never a good sign. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, goodness. I literally cannot sneak at all. It's like, I'm wearing robes, and still I cannot sneak. It's quite annoying. Anyway, whatever. I'll work on my sneak later on. There are certain ways that make sneak very easy to train, so... Anyway, I wonder who this guy is. Oh yeah, this is Orthorn. This is the guy who stole the books from the college. Send you. He 
rescue me, didn't he? He sent me to kill you. See? I knew Arden wouldn't leave me in here. Hurry and get me out of this cage before they come for me. Okay. So you don't you don't have to free him, but you can if you want to. Okay, shut up. But he will follow you around in the dungeon. Um, he usually gets killed, at least in my experience. Every single time I've had Orthorn follow me around, he always dies. So, I guess, oh well, you know, he's not really that important. It's a horrible thing to say, but yeah. Oh, I can't go through that way, I guess. Uh, where, where was it that we are supposed to go? No, it's not that. Oh, it must be this way here. Alright, continuing on further in Dufeld will keep. So, I might want to try sneaking up on some mages. Just for a little bit. Just to see if I... Oh, have they detected me already? What am I doing what for? Sneak attack. Oh yeah, that, that one's an apprentice too, so... I really gotta look out for her. Uh oh. Are you kidding me? This sucks. Okay, so we are further on into the dungeon now. I just got fed up and went ham. Killed everything. So, um, we're quite close to the end. Uh, we just have to find the collar and get the books back which isn't too far away from where we are now. So, please die. Thank you. What else is there? Familiar? Who's familiar is that? Thought I killed everyone in here. Huh, that's weird. Anyway, we read that. Conjuration increases. Um, conjuration is a skill that I do want to train as well. Um, pretty soon here. And my mouse buttons are a little bit unresponsive because sometimes when I click, uh, on the mouse, you know, to use flames or healing or whatever. It doesn't happen until a couple seconds later, but that's a problem with my mouse. It's not a problem with the game itself. Take him out. And, uh, anyone else around? See some red dots. Maybe Ornmund will take care of them. Oh, hello. You're done. Yeah, I'm here. How's it going? Ice Mage. She's dead? I think that was a she. And more enemies. I just want to be done with this dungeon and get out of here, so I'm not even going to mess around. Oh, I hate Storm Mages. Because they drain your Magicka so fast. Scroll of Mass Paralysis. As if anyone actually used scrolls. I know, no one ever uses scrolls. I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? I can't conceive of the power that you yield. Uh, nope. Flames in left hand as well. Um, I think this is the way to the next area. I believe um, we're on the right track. Lavender, that's always nice for alchemy. And yes, I did turn down the difficulty a bit just because I died three times, twice on camera, once off camera. And I said, screw it, you know, I'm just going to turn it down to low for now. Um, and as soon as I'm done with this dungeon, I'll turn it back. But sparks. I need sparks in both hands. I don't know why the game doesn't realize that. Oh, wow. Was that him? Ornament? wherever he is. He did a lot of damage there. Sparks are actually quite good. I don't know why I don't use them. I just like flames because they have the extra burning damage afterward. That's always nice. Fire salts. Um, 
I'm not sure. I don't think this is the way we go, but there is a chest. Adept lock, though. I'm going to struggle to open that one. Yeah, this is the way we go. We're on the right track now. Okay, so we go in here, and this should be the last area of the dungeon. And we'll see the color. Who are you? Names no longer matter. You may refer to me as the caller. I will. Now, you have a reason for making such a mess. I was pissed off. I'm sorry. So you're just one of Arnie's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show me a promise. You come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. You annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. Oh, now we're all peace and thank you, are we? I'm afraid we're way beyond pleasantries. I'll allow you the opportunity to turn around, walk out that door, and never come back. I suggest you move quickly. Mm -hmm. An arrangement. After you've destroyed so much, fine. Leave me the elf. You may go with your books. I okay. Wait, what? Books? I get to It's very simple. But why? This little adventure of yours has cost me a number of. Oh, she's going to use them as a test subject? Okay, that's. Uh. Uh oh. I'm pressing E and it's not taking it. This could be bad. Not sure what to do, it won't even let me... It says press E to take. Pressing E. Nothing happens. Well, not sure what to do here. So the caller may have just died. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but I think Ornmund attacked her. Where's Ornmund? He was over here, I don't know where he disappeared to, but yeah. Ornmund attacked her, and then uh, she attacked me. I'm not sure why, but yeah. But anyway, I did need to kill her anyway, um, because I needed that uh, key that she drops. I also figured out uh, the key to pick up books is an E. It was one of these ones. Not that. I was just, oh, yeah, I was just spamming keys and eventually picked up. So I guess it's spacebar instead of E. And the reason why is I changed the activate key from spacebar to E, but apparently it didn't change in the uh, in the book screen. So we get to search this chest. And by the way, the collar was actually pretty difficult. I nearly died. I had to use like all my minor healing potions that I had left. So that's not good. Search the satchel. Um, but yeah, if you don't kill her, you don't get to uh, get this chest here. There is a way, if you have a high persuade level, or if you tell her to keep Ornmund and he doesn't attack her, or do something stupid like that, uh, then you can just leave without killing anyone. Well, any more people, obviously, you already killed a lot of necromancers and stuff, but... Anyway. So, uh, I do have the books now, I just need to return to the college. So, luckily this is one of those dungeons that has a convenient exit that leads right back into Skyrim without too much difficulty. And we just return to the college and turn that in, but we're going to do that next episode. Um, there is a necromancer on top of that tower there. Hopefully he doesn't notice me. But So yeah, next episode. Uh, I'll be back at the college and turning these books in. So thanks for watching and farewell.